Hey you guys, so if you spend any time watching YouTube videos recently, you'll notice that a good amount of your favorite creators have probably been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. You'll instantly recognize it by the obnoxious ad read which is almost the same every single time. Everyone mentions the crazy 3D graphics, the thrilling gameplay and the amazing storyline. But that's not really true, is it? Let's take a closer look at Raid. So Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG where you build up your team of heroes and then have them square off against bad guys and monsters, with a boss battle at the end of every story chapter. And I actually forced myself to play Raid for a couple hours yesterday. So is Raid a bad game at its core? Honestly, I think that's completely up to interpretation. However, the claims they make in their ads are just completely ridiculous and beyond exaggerated. Did I like it? No, I personally found it kind of boring. The gameplay consists of you just fighting your way through a totally cluttered and unorganized menu system until you finally somehow start playing the game. And then when you're actually playing the game, you just hit one button and it does everything for you. Virtually all you do is go through a bunch of levels, all of which look exactly the same, and by the end there's a boss fight and you unlock new characters, upgrade your team and develop new skills, that sort of grind. And then you repeat that cycle like 200 times. And like I said, the entire combat system can be automated by one button. Now Raid also has this incredible story. It's told through all these different story cards. And I gotta be honest, I thought this was the best part of the game. They actually look kinda cool, but unfortunately these cards have nothing to do with what actually happens in the game. I want to play this game, not this piece of junk. But let's get to the graphics. Awesome 3D graphics. Raid is all about those graphics. And they can only be compared to the most biggest console and PC games ever. I'm sorry, but to anybody who has actually played a console game in the last 5 years, this will not be console quality. So in summary, Raid is not bad. In terms of quality, it's just slightly above average and even that's pushing it. But it becomes extremely frustrating when I constantly have to hear how amazing it is the most biggest console and PC games ever. And then when you look at any screenshot, it just looks like every other mobile game, if not worse. Ever. Ever. At the end of the day, Raid is just a paper thin card carbon copy of all the other mobile RPG games that you've probably seen over a thousand times. Sure, it's better than anything made by Voodoo or Ketchup, but at this point that's not really saying much. A lot of sponsor reads for Raid also mention that this game has an almost perfect rating on the Play Store. So let's get to the ratings. So here you go, 600,000. Let's see the actual reviews, sort these for most relevant. Oh, what's this? 1 star, 1 star, 1 star, 1 star, 1 star, 1 star, 2 star, 1 star. So even though they boast a 4.6 total rating, the overwhelming vast majority of these are bad. Sure, there are a few 4s and 5s in there, but a lot of the reviews that the Play Store deems most relevant tend to be unfavorable. And why is that? Well, it probably has to do with the fact that even though the game is free, it constantly shoves multiple pop-ups in your face asking you to buy gems and various other in-game currencies. This can be up to 10 times every time you start the game. Now, I think it's fair that the game has to make money, and it does so with in-game transactions. So let's consider you finally cave and make a microtransaction. Well, they're not gonna stop their notifications, they just want you to buy more and more and more to the point where it just kinda ruins the immersion. But that's not even the biggest problem, because I wouldn't mind this if this were an original game. But so many of these mobile games that have the audacity to ask you for money, raid included, aren't even original ideas. There are hundreds if not thousands of games like this. So then raid comes along and just makes a game that is pretty much a bad copy of all the other mobile RPG games that came before it, and then they expect to be rewarded like they just reinvented the entire genre. Again, I want to make this clear, I don't have a problem with a developer making money, showing ads or asking for money. However, Raid provides an incredibly weak experience in a game that brings nothing new to the table because it's been already done over a thousand times. Then they exaggerate almost everything about the game and their advertisements to manipulate you into downloading it and then they expect you guys to take your hard earned money and drop it on something that took virtually zero originality. I think that's a little unfair from the developers. Now you might say that many people are still having a blast with this game. And if you like this game, good for you. I don't think you should stop playing it. However, Raid's problems are so prevalent that even the good reviews still highlight the glaring issues that this game has. There are an abundance of 5 star reviews that will admit that it's a gacha game and that the sales are obnoxious. But at least you have Raid's crack team of problem solvers responding to the reviews letting you know that they have taken your review into serious consideration. Actually, I don't think they care at all about your reviews and the responses are completely automated. If you don't believe me, just take a look at this review, in which a guy tested if they would just reply the same thing to every comment. Here it goes. This game is a masterpiece. Ever since downloading it, I've become so invested in the game that I've cut off my family and now live with a homeless man in an abandoned gas station. 
It's been three days without food or water and I'm starting to feel my stomach sinking inside me. Today I was so hungry I stopped the passing car and beat the driver with a stick so hard it became unrecognizable. I then proceeded to take his money and bought, you guessed it, in-game currency to unlock a new champion. 10 out of 10. Thank you for taking time to share your feedback. We're happy to hear you like the game. We're doing our best to make it even better for you. Olga. Okay, either Raid wants homeless people addicted to their game, or it's just an automated response and they didn't even bother to read what the guy wrote. Yeah, it's probably that. So why is this game so highly rated? Well, you see there are a lot of these reviews that even though they contribute to the ratings are sort of buried under the higher quality ones. Here are three examples. I haven't played this, but it looks so good. This game dope. GG. So you have a lot of these reviews that give 5 stars even though they're either indifferent or they really don't care that much about it. But we all know why Raid is really so successful. They will sponsor pretty much any YouTuber, especially those who tend to get very few sponsors. And I don't hold it against the YouTubers. While there are some extremely lucky guys on this platform who get opportunities like this... I would say like the biggest deal ever for like to bring up a brand or make a, a dedicated video for a brand is in the six figures, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. But I'll also say that like in my career, I've had the opportunity to do things like that a couple of times. Most YouTubers never even get a fraction of that, and they simply have to take whatever they can get. And I understand that, but Raid Shadow Legends have used this situation to their advantage by simply paying off all the people who were most likely to criticize it in the first place. Again, I don't hold it against the creators. Ad revenues are already low, and they went down even more in 2020 due to COPPA. So I guess, in a way, they're at least giving some of my favorite creators opportunities that they might not get otherwise. But that doesn't magically make a below average and deceptive game a good one. Anyways, those are my thoughts on this legendary meme of a game. What do you think about Raid? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, if you like this, consider subscribing, liking, or commenting. And thank you guys for watching.